Hey there, guys. Um, this is the movie review I said I was going to do. Um, I don't know if I said it in the last video, but I do want to apologize since the gloves aren't on. I had a little incident last night, and they're currently AWOL. Um, I think they might be in the house somewhere. But that's another video. Um, I said I was going to do a movie review, and here it is. Film Across the Universe. Now, um, I mention this film all the time at work. Uh, customers come in, they say, well, what's a good movie? Across the Universe. Now, first off, I'm going to say, yes, it is a musical. But don't let that be a turnoff for you, okay? First off, it's by the Beatles. So if you're a Beatles fan, boom, instantly good for you. However, I understand I hate the Beatles. I'm what's called an Elvis fan. I like Elvis, I hate the Beatles. If you're a Beatles fan, you can love the Beatles, and you can have an appreciation for Elvis. He's not your favorite guy in the world, but, you know, he's alright in your book. For me, love Elvis, despise the Beatles. But, this was actually a very well done film. Um, first off, it's opening tones, how it's kind of normal and fun. Um, you know, it can get depressing sometimes, as long as they let it be. But, um, you know, as you get further into it, you know, further into their life and their time in New York and on the love bus, as I call it, you'll understand it when you see the film, um, you know, it gets very trippy, very weird, stuff like, um, Benefit of Mr. Kite is just out there. But, um, as it starts getting more towards the end of the film, it starts going back to, you know, kind of getting back to normal. Overall, I think that this was a phenomenal film. Um, I think vocally they did a fantastic job. Their casting could not have been better. Um, the artwork, the imagery, the use of the songs. You know, like I said, this is all written by the Beatles. Okay, So you have a limited, a very limited um, selection of tracks to use from. Some um, are just thrown in as an introduction of characters or an introduction of the time period. Songs like Let It Be. Um, it's really there more for uh, to introduce the time period so people kind of understand the stress of the times. But, um, you know, you still have a limited song base because um, you have to progress the story. Songs like um, I Want You. Now, it was not originally written for I Want You Baby. I mean, I'm sorry, it was originally written for the terms like, you know, I Want You Baby. Um, in the film, they change it more into, um, you know, the uh, Uncle Sam, you know, I Want You. Um, I have to say that that was very interesting, how they can change words and lyrics like that it's uh, a very interesting touch overall you know here comes my famous one to ten scale what would i give this i would actually give this an 8.5 um it does, i won't give it a 10 ranking mainly because some people are automatically turned off by the idea of a musical and they just don't like musicals yeah, understand if you don't like musicals you're still gonna love this film if you do love musicals you're gonna love this if you see moulin rouge um, is very similar to that in a lot of aspects. It's very similar. Um, if you don't like the Beatles, so give this one a try because um, the vocals and the way some of the words, I mean, some of the songs are done, you will find that it doesn't sound a lot like the Beatles. Like you will recognize the songs like uh, "Let It Be," um, "Come Together." Across the universe, strawberry fields, you will recognize um, a lot of the songs, even though the vocals are different. And hell, it's just so much fun. It's a really fun film in the end. That's what I have to truly say it is. It's a fun film. Stuff like uh, Friends, Mr. Kite, it is just overall something that I think everyone can enjoy. Um, just to let you know. Um, there is a small amount of nudity, and there's one scene where it looks like they're smoking a joint, but if you actually look in their hands, there's nothing there. And it is actually, there is really nothing there. Some people think it's a small roach. It's not. There's really nothing there. But, 
in the end, PG-13 rating, great film, 8.5. I suggest everyone go ahead, head down to my work, and check that one out.